There you go. There's a big one. We got another turn last year, baby. Look at that. Right there. So let's talk a little bit about the the regular the, the equipment that we're using here. This is real critical to successful chatterbait fishing. What I've got here is a seven foot medium heavy power rod with fast action tip. Real fast action tip. I don't know if you could see that. Let me show you. See that tip? Real fast. Almost an extra fast. That is ideal for fish and chatterbait. Now if you've got a spinnerbait rod, that's perfect for fish and chatterbaits. But the seven foot medium heavy is pretty much a universal tool. You can use it for worm fishing, for chatterbait, for paddle tail fishing. You can even use it for jig fishing. There's even more. There's a lot of uses you can use for a seven and a half medium heavy power rod. So get yourself a couple of them and rig them up. But this is what you want to use with a chatterbait. With it, I've got the Revo, Revo SX bait casting reel. This is an awesome reel for this. It's a six six to one gear ratio. And the reason I'm going with that instead of like a seven three or faster is for the most part, your success with a chatterbait is with a slower retrieve. And I'll get into the retrieves in a minute, but the six six enables me to keep it down. Even if I get a little anxious and I start speeding up, it's gonna keep that down to a slower speed. With this reel also, it's got a fantastic smooth drag, real nice drag on it. And when you, when you hook onto a fish, usually it's a big one and you need a good drag to be able to fight them back to the boat and, and uh, not get them you know, to tear loose out of this, uh, you know, tears, tear the hook out of his mouth. I also have a real strong, uh, the, the drag on it is also very, very strong. It's 24 pounds of drag. That is really unusual for bass fishing. Most, most reels for bass fishing are like 12 to 16 pounds on the drag. So 24 pounds is really stout for bass fishing. And that's great because what I like to do is I fan cast this. I'll fan cast it across big flats of weeds, submerged milfoil for example, and just you know start at like the 11 o'clock position and then my next cast will be 12, my next cast will be one and so on and so forth just covering water and you make those really long casts and so when that fish is way out there and he hits it on the end of a long cast you need you need that the, the, the drag to be down tight in order to set that hook with that much line out and speaking about that line I've got here on I got 30 pound fire line ultra 8 line on this but 30 is really good and the, and the, and the uh, fire line here because it's a microdyneema fiber it, it goes through the guides real smooth and that aids for long casts. So again, as I mentioned, long casts on this are critical. So real nice long casts with this line. It has no stretch. So again, you can get good hook sitting power on those long casts and pair that with this reel, which gives you a nice long cast as well. You're going to get that bait fired way out there and cover a lot more water than somebody else is not set up like this. So be sure you get yourself one of these reels and, and, and Pair it up with this fire line. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Where are you, dude? Come here, fish. That's a good fish. That's a nice little bit. Come here. There you go. Not that big, but you sure felt like it. Yeah, they wanted to chase something. Chatterbait. That's a good fish. It's the best one we've had all day. Or it's almost just like Chatterbait. Chatterbait. <laughs> For more tips and tricks like this, visit bassresource.com.